Hello and welcome to another SCARDV tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use conditional statements and loops. So basically what is a conditional statement? It basically means that if something is true you will execute a certain statement. Now I'm going to give you a small example of that. We are going to make a variable i an integer, so as we've remembered, this can contain a value, uh, both negative or positive, in this case we're going to initialize it to 5, and basically what I want to do is ask the uh, ask scar whether the variable contains 5. Now since we've uh, put 5 in there, we know this for sure, but uh, as uh, as our script, uh, scripts get larger, we might want to uh, check whether or not it contains a certain value. So to do that, we are going to use an if statement. So basically, right, if i equals, so the uh, equals operator here uh, allows us to compare the value. Five. Uh, now this statement will uh, return basically a boolean value, which is true or false. Now in this case, we know it will be true, but um, just for uh, argument's sake, let's try it and put then after it. So if i equals five, and well, this is basically the same thing as if i equals five equals true, but you don't usually write that equals true because it's uh, implied by default. You can uh, also say uh, if that equals false, so if it's not true, which can also be written to if not, so if it's not that, or you can use the does not equal operator instead of the equals operator. Oh, sorry which is uh, this here, but so in this case we want to know if 5 equals, well if i equals 5, then and I will want to write out equals here, and if it does not, so we basically, what we want to do now is say what if it does not equal 5, what do we want to do then? Well, else, so we use else keyword here, else, right line, does not equal. Now, as you may notice, I have not put a semicolon after this right line, because we are leaving out the begin and end uh, block here, because we only have one line. So if we have multiple lines, we can do this. Then you have to write the begin and end. Here we don't, and since we don't, basically have to leave uh, out the semicolon to tell it that the else follows this. So if we run this, prints out equals because i equals five. So that's basically how uh, a conditional if statement works. Now we can uh, also uh, have the else here followed. By something else. So if it does not equal 5, we can check if i equals 6, then and we're going to put equals 5 in here, here equals 6, and you know we're going to put another else in here. So equal 5 or 6. So in this case we have if i equals 5 then write equals 5. If i equals, well, if it does not equal 5 then if i equals 6 write equals 6. And if it does not equal 6 then does not equal 5 or 6. So if we run that equals 5, if we change that to 6 if it's equals 6, if it changes to 7, does not equal five or six. So that's basically it for the if statement. We can, um, for example, 
put a begin end block in here so we can uh, write multiple lines like this so that's basically that and if we go to seven we get the ACF line here so that's an if statement now um, I said I was going to explain loops in here um, I'm not going to do that um, because well we'll run out of time instead I'm going to explain to you the conditional case statement this is basically a big if statement which allows you to reduce your code a lot because if you have to check several uh, possi uh, possible values you're going to have to write if then else if then else if then else if then and your code will get pretty long so instead of that uh, there's the the case statement which allows you to do um, case i of then we can do five for example right line equals five six right line equals six and if it does not equal those not equal five or six. So if you terminate that with an end, and we're going to set i to five, for example. It says equals five, equals six, and it's not equal five or six. Now you can also include ranges here, for example, like this. Basically, what you're doing now is saying every value from 5 to 6 including those two and then we can write here equals 5 or 6 get 5 6 also for example change this to 7 or 7 So that's basically how case statements work. Um, now that I've shown you that, there's one more thing I want to um, want to show you. You can use the OR and AND operator to uh, combine multiple statements. For example, you can say if i equals 5 or if i equals 6 then right line uh, i equals 5 or 6 so now we're going to set that to 5 let's say i equals 5 or 6 set to 6 i equals 5 or 6 and 7 doesn't write anything now we can also use the and operator but if we do it here well i can't both be five and six so this will basically write out nothing every time because it's also always false uh, I can never be two values at once but we can for example make a second variable here it's called a j put four in there and we add that in there so we check if i equals five and j equals four well, the uh, output is a bit uh, wrong here, but you get the idea. So that's how uh, the OR and AND operators work. Um, if you change this to 5, for example, it no longer outputs anything. So that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.